Hey guys, in this video I have a big package. Now, I will say I was a bit excited and I ripped open the corner over here. Now, from the size of it, can you guys tell what it is? Then again, you guys probably saw the thumbnail and know exactly what it is. Anyway, let's open it and see if this product's any good. Okay, so it is a wing for the Civic. Now this is just the Type R replica wing, and it's not the Seeker or the Seeker V2. And if you look over here, it's Primer, made in China. It's definitely a plastic part. And the big thing is, how does this base plate look? So looking at the base plate, I'm quite happy with this because it has normal bolt holes. This is plastic, it's not some fiberglass or reinforced fiber. And it looks like you do also get hardware with it. Okay, so this is the product. Um, overall, I am happy. It does look quite nice. Now, I paid $95 for this. Shipped internationally for free. So they'll ship this thing anyway. And it's $95. Now, I did have to pay an income duty of about $8. So we are looking at about $103 landed, delivered, whatever. They're listed as ABS plastic. It does smell like ABS plastic. And you can see it's none of that uh, FRP or fiberglass. It is full plastic. It is quite light. And if you I don't know if you guys can see that. But if I squeeze it, it does bend a bit. However, it's quite sturdy for it being plastic. Now, one thing that is not so good is if you guys look at the edges. This is obviously injected into a mold. But if you can see the edges... They basically clean it up with a sander and most of it looks okay. So this whole section looks okay. However, if you look at this corner, you'll see there's a, looks like a small defect or a small hole there that where the plastic didn't fall completely. So you will see that you'll have to probably fill that with a bit of spot putty or you can just spray 10 layers of primer on there and then sand it off again. That should also work. And then I have scratches over here on the corner. I mean, that's quite bad. You wouldn't be able to just paint over that. You would have to uh, clean that up or sand this corner just to get rid of that. However, you, you can fix that. The straightness of this is very good. So normally you'll end up with divots and low points and this whole thing will look wavy if this is a fiberglass or FRP part. But if you guys look at it in the light, you'll see it's quite smooth. There's no bumps. It's a very, very smooth part, which means... If you scuff this and just shoot it apart from the few scratches and the edges, you can get away with that, just spraying it and putting it on the car. Also, they call this primer. However, it's the color of primer. It's not actually primer. It's just plastic, the color of primer. <laughs> so I thought it would be already primed, and I can just spray over it, scuff it and spray it. But because this is raw plastic, it's literally the exact same thing as my table. You can't just spray over this, you will have to use an adhesion promoter or plastic primer over this. Otherwise, if you do just spray rattle can paint over this, you have about two to six months before it starts peeling up and it will peel up, guaranteed, it will come off. Now, what I'm going to do is fit this on the car, see if it fits. And then we're going to take it out in the sun, let it sit in the sun for an hour or two and see if the sun has any effect on this plastic. Now here's some technical information for anyone who's interested. I got this from a manual that you can buy online. It's about $25. In the description there's a link and a discount code. And whether you're trying to remove a door panel or rebuild the engine, this will come in really handy. Okay, so to take your stock wing off, it is really easy. What you have to do is take this plastic piece off, which goes over here so you pull that off have a look at where the tabs are if you pull near the tabs this should come off without a problem and then you have two 10 mil nuts over here one there one here and the same on the other side i already pulled them off and they are all different because this is a civic and there's been 42 people in here before me so basically all you need is a 10 mil socket and you can take the wing off now once you have all that stuff out you can close the hatch and then the wing should literally just lift off and as you guys can see it does however there's a wire for the brake light over here and all you need to do is pull this rubber grommet out and then unplug it i already did that so i can just pull my oem wing off
Okay, and yet it is all fitted. Now, the fitment on this, I will give it about a 8, just because these corners don't really touch the glass. But the rest of it is really good. So if you guys look at this line, this line is perfect. Also, it doesn't touch the roof when you open the hatch. The wing itself is quite sturdy. Now, the only reason I am giving it an 8 for fitment is because... As you guys can see, once you go under here, it doesn't touch right on the corners. However, from about here, it does touch the glass the whole way around. So what I'm going to do now is push this out, put it in the sun, and then see if this holds up to the sun. Okay, so here's all the stuff I have. I have the Scotch Bright. This is a 3M scuff pad. I'm going to use it to scuff up the surfaces on this plastic. I have some 320 and a few blocks. I'm going to use that just to clean up the edges on this wing. And then of course I have some color match white paint and basically a bunch of supplies. But I do also have the satin black from a can. That's what I'm going to use for the base plate. So the base plate is going satin black and this is going color match white. So I do have color match white. I do have primer. I do also have a really cheap small compressor that I bought from an auction for next to nothing. So because I have all the stuff to do paint, and I'm going to paint more than just this wing, I'm going to paint also a lip and some other wings. You guys will see that in future videos. So for that reason, I decided to rather go and buy paint, because if you're painting a lot, it's cheaper to go this route. But I mean, you guys can just buy everything in cans. You can get adhesion promoting cans. You can get color match painting cans. So you do not have to go this route, but I'm going this route just because it's going to be cheaper for me to go this route. So I'm going to start prepping, and I'll show you guys when I'm halfway. Okay, so it's been like uh, five or six minutes, and I don't know if you guys can see, but that's the old surface. This is the scuffed surface. This surface scuffs up really, really easily. So it doesn't look like it's putting up a fight at all. Using this 3M scuff pad, you can scuff this whole thing in 10, 15 minutes, definitely. Okay, so I'm completely done sanding. I did use the block just to get it completely flat. I block sand the top of it and both these ends just as it is in plastic. For some reason, we're lucky this plastic does not make those fuzzies or almost like hairs on the plastic when you sand it. It does sand off into like a dust or a powder, almost like primer. The base plate is in very good condition, so I'm not going to block sand that just because it is, it is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, the wing, I was able to get rid of most of the imperfections very very little is still left so what i'm going to do now is hit it with the adhesion promoter i do have spot putty so i can fix this little hole here and this over here this line this thing doesn't really want to focus on but you can see that line there it's very very light i'm pretty sure if i just do two or three coats of primer on here it should fill that in and you won't be able to see that anymore so i'm going to clean it and then move on to spraying it So here's my setup for painting. It's a little bit jank, but it's going to work. So I just have the wings suspended and of course the base plate is not getting painted at the bottom. So it is just on two old lawn chairs. I've done this before. It does work to some extent. So we're going to do it again like this. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, so it is the next weekend now. This stuff has been sitting here for a week. This is just primer. Now I got white primer because I thought I was going to be clever and get, you know, if you use white primer, you use less base coat because if you're spraying white over white, it's going to cover really easily. 
but I didn't think about the fact that now I'm spraying white over white primer so it's going to be very difficult for me to see where I've painted and where I haven't so that was a genius idea that I don't think is going to work out it's going to bite me later on but we'll see for now it looks good this was the part that I painted while it was laying down like this so it came out really great there's no problems with it it has a slight texture the camera is not going to be happy uh, it's not going to want to focus on this white anyway it has a slight slight texture to it not a lot now I don't want the matte black but I also don't want a gloss black so if you guys look over here I bought the car like this and it had this part painted black already now I like that because it continues the window line and modern cars also have this with the color coded mirrors so I'm trying to mimic this and this also has a slight texture it's not perfectly smooth and it's also not quite matte but almost matte so I'm thinking with the satin and a texture underneath I could get the same result for the wing base plate as you can see this also continues the window line if you have that base plate on here so I think those two matching are just being close we'll tie it together but it'll look more like it was all done at the same time I'm going to fix this small little hole over here and these two over here you can see them now I'm going to fix that with a bit of spot putty then I'm going to take primer and primer it all again and then we're going to go over to the 2k base coat so this is a single stage paint it's just white there's no clear makes it a bit easier to paint so the base plate is ready for spray paint I'm just going to hit it with satin black out of rattle can Okay, it's the next weekend now and we got everything painted last weekend and we should be ready to just fit everything. However, that's not the case because we did run into some difficulty while we were painting. So while I was mixing up the paint, I thought I had at least, you know, another bottle of thinners because we have three bottles of turpentine over there and I was under the impression that two of those bottles was thinners. However, when I started mixing up the paint, I noticed that we only had one bottle and it wasn't going to be enough to do everything we wanted to do. So I sprayed it and as you guys can see, extreme texture now that's because the paint was too thick i didn't have enough thinners to thin it out enough the thinner the paint is the nicer and smoother it will lay but the easier it will run so you need to get that balance however i had to paint way too thick because i was out of thinners the paint was already mixed up so you know i couldn't back out of it i had to either throw out the paint or just go ahead and paint everything so i went ahead and painted everything and now we have this super super rough texture so we're gonna have to wet sand and buff the wing so sadly I have to wet sand and buff now, but luckily that's only going to be 10 seconds for you guys, even though it's going to be 3 hours for me. Okay, so we made a little bit of progress, but the garage is a complete disaster. We have the wing fitted, and it came out, came out okay. The color match is quite good, as you can see there. You can't really see a difference between this color and that color. Now, as you guys can see, we did have some fish eyes pop up. We also have some of those fish eyes on this side. Now I did lay on quite thick paint in this area so that I can go back and sand it. Two hours later. Okay, so I decided to block sand the wing again. I was not happy with those fish eyes we had over here. So sanded it all down again. All the fish eyes are gone now. I'll see if I can show you guys. But they're all gone now. But as you guys can see, we are starting to break through to the plastic primer, which was silver. And you can see it there. So those fish eyes were definitely too deep to actually save the wing. I did polish up the wing but it didn't really work out all that much and it did need more sanding as you guys can see there's spots where we broke through the paint here as well as well as the back here here's a few of them we have one more fish eye here right over there that's the last one i'm going to block sand this out then i'm going to sand out a small imperfection at the top here i'm going to take off the whole wing sand the whole thing down again making sure we get all these edges nice and smooth so all those cast marks are gone and then we're going to repaint it again now this is a lot of work i didn't want to do it but in the end we are going to end up with a better quality paint job and i'm not sure if i can show this in this video but we are also busy redoing the lip this is the old one this is the new one it's painted with plastic primer there's the grill we made some modifications to it i have a lot more thinners now and we're going to go through and repaint everything again Now the wing, we have a run on this side again. So we have a small run over here because we had those same fish eyes again. Okay. 
Okay guys, and finally we have a result I am happy with. The wing came out perfect, apart from one tiny fish eye right over there. Other than that, everything is perfect. After the second time we painted it, we did have a little run over here because we got a few fish eyes here, so I painted a lot of paint over it so that I can just sand out a run and it will take care of the fish eyes. That worked. We also had a small run up here, but I was able to sand that out as well. Other side came out perfect, and I must say, I am really happy with the results. Even the base plate we painted with satin black out of a spray can, that came out perfect. In fact, this was actually a lot easier than painting with the spray gun. I will say I do think my spray gun had some contaminants in it, and that's what was causing the fish eyes. And that's why we had such a difficult time actually painting this. But in the end, because this has so many layers of paint on it now, I was able to get these edges really nice and smooth. We don't have those join marks anymore. So in the end, we ended up with a better product than what we would have had if we only painted it with one coat of paint. Now, I do really like this OEM style type R wing. It does sit really nice, fits really nice and makes the car look you know a lot more aggressive uh, especially from this angle now after sanding out the two runs we had i did have to polish the whole thing again so i did actually wet sand the whole wing again and then went over it with my polisher color match is really good really happy with that anyway guys thanks for watching please like comment subscribe i'll see you all in the next one